Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today back on F1 2020 for another race in this career mode season. Today, it's my home race, the British Grand Prix at Silverstone. Now, I did have planned a full weekend's worth of racing, like sort of what I usually do in these real life race, uh, well, virtual race. But Now, I did have planned a full sort of week's worth of racing, a weekend's worth of racing in what I sort of, like what I sort of usually do when I do these real real life sort of race weekend recreations. But unfortunately, uh, the Formula 3 mod didn't work on our Factor 2. The F2 feature race, I went to start the recording and it failed halfway through. And then the Porsche Super Cup, the cars just, well, the AI on our Factor 2 just kept spinning off in random parts of the track. So I was like, okay, obviously let's just... <laughs> ditch everything else and we'll just do the F1 race this weekend but hopefully I can get back to doing that I think the next Grand Prix is like Hungary or something which is uh, going to be interesting because that is such a short track and we are uh, yeah. today I've qualified off of last because I like the special unit that I am decided to put it in the wall in Q1 <laughs> so yeah we're going to be coming from the back which is really unfortunate because I think our pace it's starting to get really, really good. In Austria, in the last round, we had a second place finish. We even passed one of the Mercedes. But it's not just me. I mean, my teammate Pierre Gasly as well is actually, this car has just got ridiculously quick, like to the point where we're quicker than the Red Bull for the most part, which is a bit of an unrealistic prospect. But anyway, as you can see, we've got plenty of work ahead of us today. So it should be an entertaining one. Um, but my hope is to sort of just get in the points. If we can just get in the points and just keep okay, this sort of consistent free, points tally, like race, uh, ra race in, race out, risks. building, then we should be able to be which should be able to be the best of the rest, which is my ultimate goal this season. I really want to be the best of the rest, and any sort of F1 fan will know what that means. But looks like another one stopper. We've got the soft and the medium, so. We're going to have to do all the work out on the track and not in the pits. Setup wise, just got another setup off of the Steam Workshop because I'm playing it on the PC. Um, and yeah, not much else besides that. We should get away on this formation lap. Just do a quick practice start, turn the volume up, hear what I'm doing. Yeah, 26 laps, 50% race distance, 100% set, uh, setting on the difficulty, and then simulation damage. We've got to be careful that when we work our way through the field, we don't touch anyone or hit anything because it's so easy to lose a piece of wing, and then if you lose just the smallest amount of downforce on the front end, you find yourself chasing your ass for the rest of the race. And it just takes too much time to come in and get the wing change so we've got to be really clean but aggressive ready here we go f1 2020 british grand prix i held, held those lights for a while jeez and again suck at getting this car off the line it's so ridiculously hard oh, around the outside turn one i uh, need to get to the inside but turn two Out. Just about got away with that one. Uh, air and wash, cold tyres. Yuck. Shall I wait for hanging straight? No point diving in. Here because I, I'm terrible with the corner names. I should know all the names of the corners around here. I've never actually raced on a track in the UK. I did all my racing over in the States and in Australia. Right, good exit out of here. Come on. Don't touch the grass, you knob. Ah. It's just full fuel load and cold tyres. Move. 
right, well, we've gone from 20th to 15th, so we've gained five spots. Decent first lap. Okay, we've got to try and get as many positions early on. Don't want to wait for the field to spread out. Hanging straight is going to be messy. <laughs> God damn it, man. Can't get it off there without freaking screwing up. In my finest lap. DRS will be enabled this lap. You can use it when within one second of the car ahead and in the DRS zone. Oh, elbows out. May have taken Ricardo's front wing off, but right, we've got places to be and things to do, so <laughs> get this fuck out of my way. Let's see if we can get them both on the straight. Get a good run through here. Now get some. That gets it so ridiculously quick in these cars, it's just freaky. Can't get close enough. Full send. Nope, 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 backing out of that. <laughs> that was never going to work. Right, can one of you just decide? You know, I've got shit to do here. And y'all are just still side by side. Come on, far out. Ah, nine. Oh, it's too close. Alpha's not bad in a straight line, I tell you what. Right, up to 12th. Okay, good work. Great pass. Alright, got some space to work into here. Oh, that's not an easy flat like it was in qualifying. Jeez. Still though, I mean, I've played just about every single F1 game since F1 2000. Uh, by EA Sports, that one. Far out, that's a throwback. And I didn't, I didn't play F1 2018 or 2019, but the sheer grip these cars have these days is frightening. Like, going racing all the different renditions of F1 cars through the years in the sim racing world, I've never, ever been able to hold it flat through that sort of the old turn one and the new turn, uh, turn one this corner here I mean I remember it used to be a massive lift and now it's just like it's like they just don't barely <laughs> barely even need to turn the wheel and these cars just have so much grip it's just ridiculous I honestly don't know how they drive in modern day sort of configuration because they are frighteningly grippy Get 
gap ahead is 4.3 seconds. Okay. Ah, right. Track limits, Joseph. I find <laughs> find myself saying this in every single one of the F1 videos I do, but I do have uh, the corner cutting set to regular, not strict, because I find the strict setting slightly too strict. I try. Oh God, I've done it again. I try and be realistic with it, though. <laughs> Problem is, I've used up so much tire just to get to this point. Okay, clear. Oops. Okay, someone's had me shoot. Uh, I'm sort of struggling for grip right now. Really struggling for grip. Barely get away from this from this alpha. Not to mention I'm not really reeling in the cars in front either. Had loads of pace in the uh, F2 car. Grabbed my first ever win so far this season on any on F2 or F1. So. Oh my god, come on, Joseph. The thing is, actually running off there like that and using old track, that's fine. I slow myself down even more than what I do if I just stay on the track and try and get a good exit. I just can't get. I can't catch these guys in front of me. Alright, let's head down and focus a little bit here. Days, man, I'm just seriously struggling for grip here. I don't know what that first stint. I mean, the tire wear is just all over the shot. I just have no left front tire at all. So, whack some more front downforce on it, but we just weren't able to make any inroads to the cars in front, and in the end we ended up getting passed, so it's been an absolute shit show. Wait, why is my front wing being replaced? What the fuck? Release, release. Is my front wing damaged? I didn't think... Okay, that was random. I didn't know my... I don't remember having any front wing damage. Okay, well that explains why we were so slow in that first hint. <laughs> I must have picked up damage at some point, but it never actually... Never told me. It's probably random. Okay. Well, that's really screwed us over because I honestly didn't think it was that bad. We've got a lot of work to do now. Pierre is in for his stop. Oh, what a lovely home Grand Prix this is. <laughs> I've added so much front wing now just well I've added more front wing and I've added a new front wing which means I just literally have no grip whatsoever I mean no rear grip whatsoever this thing is loose it's gone from being way too much understeer to loose as fuck oh, come on Joseph
Definitely use the safety car right about now. No. Don't do it. I'm trying to think when I damaged my front wing. I don't remember damaging my front wing. Unless I accidentally swi uh, switched the change front wing to on. But I think I don't remember doing that either. This is really bizarre. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I've got so much more front grip now, it's ridiculous. So it must have been damaged, just never notified me, because usually the sort of damage screen comes up and notifies you. Oh, come on. Notifies you that you've damaged your front wing. <laughs> oh, that's random. Coronavirus. <laughs> Last lap of the race, okay, so we are starting to move. <laughs> I was going to say, because at Austria, we were literally had the pace to be quicker than the Ferraris and the Red Bulls, and now that first stint was just, you know, we were properly in mid-pack, like gone back to being in the mid-pack. And then towards the end of it, I just had no front grip whatsoever, so that makes way more sense that I damaged the front wing, but I just don't know when I hit the back of anyone. I mean, I'd had a few side-on impacts, which could have done it, but I don't think I had anything big enough to actually rip the front wing off. Anyway, it's what it is. Yeah, see, now that's easy flat. Like before, I was using all the track on the exit. that was a little bit loose on the first couple laps it's starting to come right as I'm wearing out that front tire because you do really destroy the left front around here Highway's a lot more even. Oh, air wash nasty. Seb Vettel's out of the race, so it's another free spot. Safety car, please. Green flag. No. moves here. It's getting too late in the race. Oh, 
Fucked it up. did not want to lock up the left front. <sighs> it's not been my finest day behind the Alphatari, I must admit. Driven pretty poorly. Lacking consistency. Two point one seconds. Bruh, come on, Jason. Taking the piece. Taking the piece. The car behind is dropping back. We're seeing a gap form. Should be way bigger than what it is by now. Still lacking in a bit of grip here, I must admit. Which maybe the setup's just not as good this week. stay in the whole of the UK year right now so in a room with two like sauna freaking lights that are like there and just try and make my face look pretty so um, making it ridiculously hot in this room I've got a fan but it's not really doing much <laughs> Gearbox into space there. <laughs> Accidentally double clicked the downshift panel. On. Get a good run onto the hangar straight so we can get him there. I'm gonna struggle to catch Raikkonen at this rate. We have not had the pace today at all. I think it's just the Alpha Tauri car. I mean, Gasly finished fifth in the last race. I finished sick at, uh, second, so sick and hang <laughs> on full Kiwi. We just do not have the pace here, unlike what we did at the last track. Oh, that was way too aggressive. I just so wanted to make that move. Did not want to use up all that friggin' ERS and have it go to waste. Yeah, I just don't have the pace, man. Struggling. the gap on the car behind by five tenths per lap. It's not the easiest place to pass around here. Unless you get a good run out, sort of maggots, Beckett's, and onto the hangar straight. about five laps to go. Oh, 
Oh, arrow wash, yuck. Man, that was not a load of it there. <laughs> Definitely would have been pinged for track limits by now, I think. Yellow flag. Ah, oh, shit, I can't pass. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. Wasted even more errors. Oh man. Yeah, so we're just about going to get back to where we started before the pit stop. So it's just amazing how much losing a front wing can screw your entire race. I mean, if this had been a full distance race, you'd probably get away with it. But yeah, no, that's not gone well. Plenty of pace now. So too little, too late, unfortunately. Man, still, that alpha, it's not slow in a straight line. Jeez. Tell you what, second off of Ocon, you might just be able to scrape away with a point here if I just not screw up these last two laps. <laughs> That's way too much curb, Joseph. Come on. Just amazing how much more grip you get once the tire wear goes down. Just going to come down to the last lap here to try and get a point. He's on the hard tire, actually. That's interesting. Save it for the hangar straight, I think. Give it everything. All the beans. Get a good run out of the near the shit. Uh, give it it all that she's got. <laughs> yeah, easy, easy money.
Alright, so 20th to 10th will get a point, even though we had to replace the front wing in the pits. Okay, it's better than nothing. So, again, British Grand Prix, sort of home Grand Prix, I always want to do better. But it's it's actually interesting. I've always struggled around Silverstone on every F1 game ever. Like, I have good pace in some, tra uh, some tracks and poor pace on others. And Silverstone has always been a track that's eluded well me for some reason. But anyway... Uh, good old Hamilton gets another victory around Silverstone. I do love the whole um, black skin, black um, suits. I think it looks sick. Even though I may not agree with what it stands for, it's ab I just think it's absolutely sick. That car this year looks so awesome. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. So then, Alright, so one point means that we stay in seventh. And unfortunately, we've dropped down in the constructors because Gasly didn't have too good a run. Ooh, driver of the day. <laughs> so there's some contact here. I was trying to find where I broke that front wing, but that, that was on our sort of left rear, so I don't see how that could have possibly been something that broke it. It still looks intact. Yeah, and then I... I can't see where I damaged her. It's so random. Alright guys, well thanks for tuning in. That is the end of today's video. Stay tuned for more F1 2020 action throughout the year. And yeah, next up we're hitting Hungary. One of the few races that actually has gone ahead this year. So yeah, looking forward to that. Not a big fan of the Hungaro ring, but... It is, I guess, Monaco without walls, as the uh, pundits always used to, dis oh, always like to describe it. So yeah, well, st uh, definitely stay tuned for that. And yeah, until next time, catch you guys later.